the joint probability distribution of return on two stocks x and y is given in the following table. The covariance of the return on the two stock is closest to so here the joint probabilities have been given along with the probability of different states. So for one state it is 0 0.25, for other state it is 0 0.5 and for the third state it is 0 0.25. Okay. So first of all we have to calculate the expected value on the of the returns on the stock X and Y. So the expected value of the return on the stock Y will be equal to the value of the probability into the return on stock Y in that particular state. So it will be equal to 0 0.25 into 0 0.3 plus the 0 0.5 that is the probability of the second state multiplied by the return on the stock Y corresponding to the second state that is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.25 into 0 0.1 which will be equal to 0 0.3. Now similarly the expected value of return on stock X is equal to 0 0.25 into 0 0.35 plus 0 0.5 into 0 0.3 plus 0 0.25 into 0 0.2 so which will give me a value of 0 0.2875 now the covariance of the returns on both the stocks that is stock X and Y the covariance on Rx and Ry is given as summation of the probability factor for each state multiplied by the return on asset X corresponding to that state minus the expected return which we have calculated over here into the return on stock Y for that state minus the expected return on stock Y which we have calculated. Here I is equal to 1, 2, 3. So this is state 1, 2 and 3. So if we do the calculation it will be equal to 0 0.25 into 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3 into 0 0.35 minus 0 0.2875 plus 0 0.5 into 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2875 plus 0 0.25 into 0 0.1 minus 0 0.3 into 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2875 so if I add all these three terms the value of the covariance which I will get will be equal to 0 0.005. So the correct option is option C.